Hello everyone, it's been a while since I made a video that I am staying obedient to what God has asked me to do. I had a dream last night and he woke me up and asked me to share it with everyone, so that's what I'm doing. I want to start by saying that um, I've had a really rough time. Uh, those of you that know me know my story and I've gone through it the past few years with losing everything in a fire, a bad car accident, surgeries after surgery, um, you know, basic life. It's It's been rough. Um, now we're in the middle of a pandemic. Um, things have been really, really rough. And um, I'm not saying my life is any harder than anybody else's, but uh, I've gone through it as well. So I'm not here to talk about that. I just want you to know that I can relate to many of you, but I have been having a hard time through this pandemic and um, as as I'm sure many of you have, and I, especially this, this past week has, um, as you know, my dog was attacked by a snake and I got bit by a scorpion and I've been kind of sick and down and I just... I think I finally just lost it, um, just lots of quarantine stuff, and I just surrendered. And yesterday, I was singing all day. I don't know why. I just, I had been in total um, just quietness with God, but I kept singing over and over. Uh, we gonna see the light. Jesus, help us see the light. And then I would just sing over and over like, help me see the light. Jesus, help me see the light. And I mean, over and over and over all day yesterday. So last night, here's my dream. I was walking towards this water and it was so bright. It was so bright and so beautiful. And as I was coming upon this water, I tried to get my phone and take a picture. And I remember just being so captivated by this water. And I mean, it was just water, but it was not a color I've ever seen in my entire life. So I can't tell you what color it was. And at first I thought it was the ocean, but then after I started thinking about it, I realized it was not the ocean because it had no waves. There was no sound. It was very peaceful and clear and quiet and magnificent. I realized after praying today, God told me it was the river of life. And as I was walking upon this, I was getting closer to it. I tried to take a picture with my phone and I tried several times and I couldn't get my phone to work. And God said, that won't work here. And as I began getting closer I just wanted to share it with everybody. And God woke me up out of a dead sleep. And I remember waking up, sitting in my bed last night. I didn't sleep much at all last night, but I remember waking up and God said, if you want to share it, then you need to share it with them. You need to share it with everybody that this is real. This brightness, this beautiful brightness is real. The river of life is real. And I had not really thought about it much. And I wish you could see what I saw. Because God wanted me to tell you not to give up. I know it's been long and hard. And he wants us to focus on him, his love, getting people to know Jesus. Evangelism should be stronger than ever. And I know it looks like we can't do it, but we can. And don't turn to the drugs and the alcohol and the other distractions of the world. If you need help, reach out and ask someone and get back on track. Seclude yourself with God and get back on track. The river of life is real and we are going to be rewarded. I was in that stage of giving up as well and not even, and just wondering, is this even real? 
And I believe that's why God showed me. And I believe that there's so many people giving up right now because of the circumstances, because of watching the news. Turn the news off. Turn the TV off. You don't need to know. You're not going to miss anything. What you're missing out on is peace, joy, love from God. It's all that matters. All of this is going to be gone. It doesn't matter. Love your family. And share Jesus with everyone. Show them. Show them Jesus. This is the time. The river of life is real. I saw it. The tree of life is real. I saw it. I saw so many things in my dream that I can't even share with you. Because it's overwhelming. <laughs> But I'm staying obedient to what God wanted me to tell you. And he wanted me to tell you. He hasn't forgotten us. He's still on the throne. It's real. It's so bright and so beautiful. It's so bright. There's not a color on earth. And I'm going to find a way to express it. Because I'm going to stay obedient to what God's asked me to do. Let me pray for you before I go. Father God, I pray for everyone watching this video, Lord, that you would give them a touch. You would give them the hope that they've been looking for. That this would be confirmation, Lord, of what they've been asking for. Those that have been wanting to give up, Lord, that you would rise them up. That you would raise them up, Lord. Raise them up from the grave, Lord. Open their eyes. Those that are sleeping, Lord, may they be awakened right now in the name of Jesus. Wake them up, Lord. Shake them up, Lord. Shake the very foundation that they're on, Lord. Shake us all up, Lord. Father, I know you don't want us to be comfortable in this earth because this is not where we belong. This is not our home. So maybe that's why things are getting so hard. People are getting comfortable, Lord. Get them uncomfortable, Lord. May they cling to you. May we cling to you. May nothing else matter. Father, I just ask that you wrap your arms around those that are hurting, Lord, and give them a touch right now. May this be their confirmation, Lord. Have them reach out. Lord, thank you. Thank you for showing me the river of life. Thank you for showing me your magnificent beauty, Lord. May you give hope to the hopeless, Lord. And give them a touch right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you for watching. May you share this with others that need hope. And remember, keep sharing Jesus. The enemy's time is short. And he is desperate. All these things that are happening, they're written. Read your Bible. Stay wrapped in God's word. I love you, friends. Till we meet again, be blessed.